Put your 3D glasses on then, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you. Yeah, man, like I was saying, like, uh, basically, you know, I feel like I, I kind of outperformed them each round. Like, don't get it twisted. I ain't saying there was no bodies, but each round, I... <laughs> well, I think that makes you classic, and I, I think I, I, I laid that groundwork. I ain't nothing to be played with, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! So let's go. Uh, let's rewind a little bit because you felt like uh, let's go go back to where you uh, stated that uh, you felt like you felt like uh, you wish he would have came uh, like more prepared in a sense. You felt like he was playing with you. Pause. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like well, I, I, okay. Let's speak about his material. So you feel like his material was lighter. You seen a better Snake Eyes versus another opponent. Definitely, definitely, like, you know, um, it's, it's just part of the sport, man. You can't just be stuck in a box. <laughs> so, what he did. I can't hear you, brother. You was coming in and out, brother. Yeah, I was saying, like, he probably thought it was going to be, like, a different crowd, you know. And he was in the trenches, you feel me? Yeah. You know, like, we was the hoods, you feel me? It was, it was straight hood that's in there, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can let me ask you this? Let me ask you this. I don't want to make it seem like you're saying this. Like you feel like he was a little shook, or his material would have been more better in a different atmosphere. No, it ain't nothing like that. Like okay. he was shook, and that just uh, you know, he. I'm keeping funky. Like he thought it was gonna be more white people in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? More KOTD ish type of hip hop, you feel me? More mm. hip hop is. Mm. He was a certain type of angle being in Detroit, you feel me? And it was, you know, they kind of would laugh at it and kept it pushing, you feel me? But uh. he, he, it, was, it was dope, though. Like, don't get me wrong, the whole thing he did it was dope. Right. It just, it, right. you know, it didn't. It, is, it didn't work. It didn't up. work. You felt like he was trying something. It didn't. It didn't work out in his favor with the angle he was using. Yeah, because the angle, the angle was sweet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna spoil it and give it away to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The angle was definitely sweet, but it just, it just wasn't for the people in the building. So. Out the gate. So, what was your angle, Pauls, for uh? Snake, you know what I mean? Was it just more uh you know how times do you were relentless with your punches, bro. If you a fighter, bro, you just gonna keep throwing them hoes, bro. You gonna throw them bitches, bro. You gonna keep throwing them yeah. fucking punches, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> back to back damn, bam, bam, bam. You know what I mean? For real, for I, real. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I had a mission with this battle, bro. Like my whole goal with this battle was to elevate my pen. And, and say some shit that, you know, niggas ain't say it, trying to be more original, you know, oh. and just trying to, to really show that I'm ready, you feel me? So I ain't really come to play with the, like I say, it wasn't no jokes or nothing. Like, my first 30 seconds was a was a, like a, a haymaker, you feel me? Like, I mm. came straight out the gate. Out the gate with them bitches? So uh, let uh, okay, you know what I'm saying. When when did you find when 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 it grew uh, uh, times get his groove back? You know what I'm saying. When when did you get your groove? What it, what was the uh, 50k times was it the tourney? You know what I'm saying. What made you like get back in your bag? Cause I feel like you saying that you're getting back into the into a certain bag, bro. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, old bad though was like if you really paid attention to my career, bro. Like I've reinvented myself like four or five times. You feel me? Like I got like three different, four different careers. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. it's crazy. Like, 
I first started this shit, I was rapping a certain way. And when I when I got into my little street activities and troubles, when I came back, the niggas who was rapping like that, like battle rap wasn't like that no more. You feel me? So I had to go back in the lab and I came back out and went on a different run, you feel me? So mm. right after that when I had that battle with Ty Law, that was like my third fucking career, you feel me? Like mm. that was the third time. I, I had to switch it up again because I got different eyes looking at me. And mm. after coming out this Grand Prix shit, bro, like, I tell Gully all the time, we laugh about that shit, like, bro, that shit created a monster, bro. Like, I'm able to write a three-round battle within three days. I can write a three-round battle in two to three days and have it remembered in two to three days. Like, mm. shit, man. Okay, so, uh, because what you what you speaking on, you know what I mean? You always got to stay uh, relevant with the times. No pun intended. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I read in the article, because I used to be heavy on the double XLs, the Source magazines, the Murder Dogs. I, like, I used to have subscriptions to these magazines. And I remember, because you just sparked something in my mind where 05... Uh, uh, E40 said, you know what I mean? You got to reset, rejuvenate, and you got to move with the times. You know what I mean? You like, you can't be stagnant in what, what you know. You know what I mean? You really got to move with the current. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You got to have to be a wave. You know what I mean? Meaning, you have to, uh, readjust. You know what I mean? So, would you saying that like, I have four different styles and four different ways I used to rap? You know what I mean? To me, you saying that you used to readjust with certain type of shit? Yeah, you got to, man. Like, it's, it's hard, bro. Like, we watch it now, like, with Cassidy, bro. Like, when Cassidy yeah. was in his prime, young, if he would have got on that stage, then he'd be watching dudes. But just coming back into this game, it's different. Niggas don't rap like that no more. You feel me? Like right. niggas elevating this shit, bro. You feel right. me? Every every battle you see somebody saying something that ain't ain't nobody said. And that's the hardest part about this shit, you feel me? So mm -hmm. you gotta stay original, you gotta you gotta make these people wanna watch you, you know what I'm saying? Like the times from the Grand Prix is not the time the same times that you about to get these next little battles that got coming up, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still elevating every time, you know. Out the gate, as you should, brother, as you should. So, but I want to hold you up, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, knew, I know you're on the road, you know what I'm saying? That's my. Uh, I know you seen the I'm Temptations. Time, I don't know, baby, to the uh, to the spot now. Oh, cool. okay. Well, that, 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 that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was about to talk shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause the uh, the movie Temptations is one of my favorite movies. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why you always on the road? Why you always on the road? <laughs> yeah, I just, I just left the building, man. We had to get the building ready for the battles and shit tomorrow, man. We got my baby Smith and Words versus KD going down. Let's talk we about got it. 15 versus Michigan. Uh -huh. We got my nigga Vicious uh, mm. going against uh, Clax Green. Mm. And it's going to be pop. Got some dope performances, man. We shooting a live video in there. And it's our 420 event, so our pre 420 event, so we getting. You know, baked in that thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, it's legalized over there in Michigan, man. Y'all can do that, man. Over here in Indiana, man, we jealous of y'all niggas over there, man. Y'all can, y'all can just, just do what the fuck ever, bro. Hey, man, that shit. You know, the, the as far as the, the store and shit, that shit ain't shit, but you know. I rather fucking support, you know, shop with my people. You feel me? But nah, that's illegal. Yeah. Nah, it's real. It's real. So, uh, the events pop. Let's talk about the event tomorrow. Uh, where y'all at with it? You know what I'm saying? What uh league is it? Let's talk about it real quick. Yeah, you know it's you know it's alpha shit, man. You know how we get alpha yeah. league entertainment. Yeah. Higher levels three, man. My dog. Just going down. We got Iced Up Records coming through, uh, Ice Wear Bezo, Rich Town Butter and them. Oh, you shit. Know, I got Ice Up coming through? Yeah, we, we gonna turn up, man. We got Iced Up Records pulling up. They perform, you know, Dollar performing, I'm performing. I ain't even battling. I'm gonna do my music thing tomorrow. You know? Ah, so you gonna be hiding a bitch. Oh, yeah, we turned it up. <laughs> You know, when nigga ain't got to perform, they going to be fucked. Yeah, fuck it, nigga. I'm doing a song. Fuck it. I already know this song, bro. Fuck it. Yeah, man. Shit, 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 man. Shit,
It's going down, man. If you in the city of Detroit, man, pull up 15, 715, straight for highway, man. It's going down, man. That's the west side? Yeah, West Side, man. We located right there on Schaefer in between Puritan and Millen, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I ain't from Detroit, but I I know my trajectories and I know what's the east and the west, the the south. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a, that sound west as hell. You know what I'm saying? Y'all my dogs. You know. Hey, one of them picked KDU off the airport from the airport. I took him straight to the hood. Got him right. You feel me? Out the gate. Straight to the hood. I, I already know you do, bro. I already know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I already know your handles out there in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? You loved out there in Detroit. Yeah, we do our thing, man. We show, we show, we show good, good hospitality out here, man. Out the gate. Out the gate. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, anything else you got to say? This streets folk be calling it a rap, my dog. Shit, man, go get that Rex real take, man. That shit out right now. All digital outlets, man. Tap in with your boy. R.P. You Rex. Got- R.P. Rex. Yeah, right. Man, uh, I got a battle on the way from Alpha Lady Times versus Top Gun the Butter, man. Look out for that motherfucker run the fade about to drop. Mm. And look out for this crazy shit we got coming up, man. It's going down. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying? So there it is, PBV. Live this motherfucker with my baby goddamn times, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, solid nigga. Yeah. Detroit, one of Detroit's finest, you know what I'm saying? He'll knock your fuck, he'll punch your fucking lights out. Fuck you, Tom. Little, uh, uh, little, Tom, little Tommy Hearns. Little, little light skinned Tommy Hearns in the small fuck. Little Detroit. Little Detroit puncher. That boy Jab is solid. Fuck you, Tom. You know what I'm saying? Man, you, know, you gotta come fuck with us, my baby. You ain't gotta be no better rap shit, man. Come pull up on us, man. Man, say less. I got you, my brother. I got you, my baby. I got you, my baby. You know what I'm saying? So, PPV, live this motherfucker with my nigga Times. Pussy. We out this motherfucker. Pussy. Yeah, man. Like I was saying, like, uh, basically, you know, I feel like I, I kind of outperformed them each round. Like, don't get it twisted. I ain't saying there was no bodies, but each round I <laughs> Well, I think that makes you classic, and I, I think I, I, I laid that groundwork that I ain't nothing to be played with, man. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. So let's go. Uh, let's rewind a little bit because you felt like, like uh, let's go go back to where you uh, stated that uh, you felt like you felt like uh, you wish he would have came uh, like more prepared in a sense. You felt like he was playing with you, pause. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like well, I, I, okay, let's speak about his material. So you feel like his material is lighter? You seen a better Snake Eyes versus another opponent? Definitely, definitely. Like, you know, um, it, it, it's just part of the sport, man. You can't just be stuck in a box. So, what he did. I can't hear you, brother. You was coming in and out, brother. Yeah, I was saying, like, he probably thought it was going to be, like, a different crowd, you know? And he was in the trenches, you feel me? Yeah. You know, like, we was good, you feel me? It was, it was straight hood casting there, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I be asking this? Let me ask you this. I don't want to make it seem like you're saying this. Like, you feel like he was a little shook? Or his material would have been more better in a different atmosphere? No, it ain't nothing like that. Like, okay. he was shook at that. But just, uh, you know, he, I'm keeping fucking, like, he thought it was going to be more white people in the crowd, you know what I'm saying? More KOTD ish type of environment, you feel me? More mm. hip hop is. Mm. He was a certain type of angle being in Detroit, you feel me? And it was, you know, they kind of would laugh at it and kept it pushing, you feel me? But. Uh, he, he, it was still dope though Like don't get me wrong The whole thing he did It was dope Right It just it, Right You know It didn't, it just, it didn't, it didn't work It didn't work You felt like he was trying something it, did, it didn't work out In his favor With the angle he was using Yeah Cause the angle The angle was sweet You know what I'm saying I ain't gonna spoil it And give it away to you Yeah 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 Hell nah Hell nah Hell nah <laughs> Yeah 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 
The act was definitely sweet, but it just it just wasn't for the people in the building. So. Out the gate. So, what was your angle, pause for uh, Snake? You know what I mean? Was it just more uh, you know how times do? You relentless with your punches, bro. If you a fighter, bro, you just go keep throwing them hoes, bro. You gonna throw them bitches, bro. You gonna keep throwing them yeah. fucking punches, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> back to back, damn, bam, bam, bam. You know what I mean? For real, for I, real. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I had a mission with this battle, bro. Like my whole goal with this battle was to elevate my pen and and say some shit that you know niggas ain't saying. Trying to be more original, you know, oh. and just trying to to real show that I'm ready. You feel me? So I ain't really come to play with the but I say it wasn't no jokes or nothing, like. My first 30 seconds was a was a, like a, a haymaker, you feel me? Like, I mm. came straight out the gate. Out the gate with them bitches? Out the gate with them bitches, bro. Like, <laughs> that, that's, my, that's my shit, bro. Like, I'm getting straight to the point, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to wait with nobody. Like, I was came and gave the people what they wanted to see. But, like, I really found my groove, you feel me? Like, you know, they mm. were saying I rapped the ass on I'm too, you know what I'm saying? It's too much this, too much that. I, I don't count it. You know me? So, right now, it's, it's bad for niggas, man. So, uh, let, uh, okay, you know what I'm saying? When when did you find when 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 the groove uh, uh times get his groove back you know what I'm saying when when did you get your groove what it what was the uh 50k times was it the tourney you know what I'm saying what made you like get back in your bag because I feel like you saying that you're getting back into the into a certain bag bro you know what I'm saying uh, old bag though was like if you really paid attention to my career bro like. I have reinvented myself like four or five times, you feel me? Like, I got like three different, four different careers, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. it's crazy. Like, I first started this shit, I was rapping a certain way. And when I when I got into my little street activities and troubles, when I came back, the niggas who was rapping like that, like, battle rap wasn't like that no more, you feel me? So I had to go back into the lab, and I came back out. I went on a different run, you feel me? So, mm. right after that, when I had that battle with Ty Law, that was like my third fucking career, you feel me? Like, mm. that was the third time I, I, I had to switch it up again because I got different eyes looking at me. And mm. after coming out this Grand Prix shit, bro, like, I tell Gully all the time, we laugh about that shit, like, bro, that shit created a monster, bro. Like, I'm able to write a three-round battle, but then... Three, I can write a three-round battle in two to three days and have it remembered in two to three days. Like, mm. yeah. okay, so uh, because what you what you speaking on, you know what I mean? You always got to stay uh, relevant with the times. No pun intended. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I read in the article, because I used to be heavy on the double XLs, the Source magazines, the Murder Dogs. I, like, I used to have subscriptions to these magazines. And I remember, because you just sparked something in my mind where 05, uh, uh, E40 said, you know what I mean? You got to reset, rejuvenate, and you got to move with the times. You know what I mean? You, like, you can't be stagnant and what what you know you know what i mean you really got to move with the current you know what i mean you know what i mean you got to have to be a wave you know what i mean meaning you have to uh readjust you know what i mean so what you saying like i have four different styles and four different ways i used to rap you know what i mean to me you saying that you used to readjust with certain type of shit yeah you got to man like it's, it's hard bro like we watch it now, like, with Cassidy, bro, like, when Cassidy yeah. was in his prime, young, if he would've got on that stage, then he'd be watching dudes, but just coming back into this game is different. Niggas don't rap like that no more, you feel me? Like, nice. niggas elevating this shit, bro, you feel nice. me? Every every battle, you see somebody saying something that ain't, ain't nobody said, and that's the hardest part about this shit, you feel me? So, mm -hmm. you gotta stay original, you gotta gotta make these people want to watch you, you know what I'm saying? Like, the times from the Grand Prix is not the time, the same times that you about to get these next little battles I got coming up, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still elevating every time, you know? Out the gate, as you should, brother, as you should. So, but I want to hold you up, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I know you're on the road, 
You know what I'm saying? That's my uh I know you seen I'm the temptations. Into the uh, to the spot now. I'm oh, okay, well back that that that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was about to talk shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause the uh the movie Temptations is one of my favorite movies, you know what I'm saying? It's like why you always on the road? Why you always on the road? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I just left the building, man. We had to get the building ready for the battles and shit tomorrow, man. We got my baby Smith and Word versus KD going down. Let's talk we about got it. Versus Michigan. Uh -huh. We got my nigga Vicious uh, mm. going against uh, Clax Green. Mm. And it's going to be pop. Got some dope performances, man. We shooting a live video in there. And it's our 420 event, so, our pre 420 event, so, we getting. You know, faking that thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, it's legalized over there in Michigan, man. Y'all can do that, man. Over here in Indiana, man, we jealous of y'all niggas over there, man. Y'all can, y'all can just, just do what the fuck ever, bro. Hey, man, that shit. You know, the the first the, the store and shit. That shit ain't shit, but you know, I rather fucking support. You know, shop with my people. You feel me? But, nah, yeah, that shit legal. Yeah. Nah, it's real. It's real. So uh the events pop let's talk about the event tomorrow. Uh where y'all at with it? You know what I'm saying? What uh league is it? Let's talk about it real quick. Yeah, you know, it's you know, it's alpha shit, man. You know how we get the alpha yeah. league entertainment. Yeah. Higher levels three, man. My dog. Going down. We got iced up records coming through, uh ice wear pads over his town butter and them. Oh you shit, I got ice up coming through? Yeah, we, we gonna turn up, man. We got Ice Step Records pulling up. They performing, you know. Dollar performing. I'm performing. I ain't even battling. I'm gonna do my music thing tomorrow. You know? Ah, so you gonna be hiding a bitch? Oh yeah, we turned it up. <laughs> you know when nigga ain't gotta perform, they gonna be fucked. Yeah, fuck it, nigga. I'm doing a song. Fuck it. I already know this song, bro. Fuck it. It's going down, man. If you're in the city of Detroit, man, pull up 15715 straight for highway, man. It's going down, man. That's the west side? Yeah, the west side, man. We located right there on Schaefer in between Puritan and Midland, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I ain't from Detroit, but I I know my trajectories and thing. I know what's the east and the west, the the south. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a, that sound west as hell. You know what I'm saying? Y'all my dogs. You know. Hey, what is up, Big K? Do you walk the airport from the airport? I took him straight to the hood. Got him right. Really? Out the gate. Straight to the hood. I, I already know you do, bro. I already know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I already know your handles out there in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? You loved out there in Detroit. Yeah, we do our thing, man. We show, we show, we show good, good hospitality out here, man. Out the gate. Out the gate. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, anything else you got to say to the streets before we call it a wrap, my dog? Shit, man. Go get that Rex real take, man. That shit out right now. All digital outlets, man. Tap in with your boy. R.P. You Rex. Know, R.P. Rex. Yeah, right. Baby, man, uh, I got a battle on the way from Alpha Lady Times versus Tough Gun to Butter, man. Look out for that motherfucking run the fade about to drop. Mm. And look out for this crazy shit we got coming up, man. It's going down. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying? So there it is, PBV. Lobby this motherfucker with my baby goddamn times, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, solid yeah. nigga. Detroit, one of Detroit's finest, you know what I'm saying? He'll knock your fuck, he'll punch your fucking lights out. Fuck you, Tom. Little, uh, uh, little, to little Tommy Hearns. Little, little light skinned Tommy Hearns in the small fuck, little Detroit. Little Detroit puncher. That boy Jab is solid. Fuck you, Tom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta come fuck with us, my baby. You ain't gotta be no better rap shit, man. Come pull up on us, man. Man, say less. I got you, my brother. I got you, my baby. I got you, my baby. You know what I'm saying? So, PPV, live this motherfucker with my nigga Times. Pussy. We out this motherfucker. Pussy. Put your 3D glasses on, then, pussy. Because you know we coming straight at you.